world is it really just an LSU Wag Center forestry researcher is working on expanding Louisiana's energy portfolio. Michael Blazier says Louisiana is fourth in the nation in terms of its fossil fuel production and in its potential for producing biofuels from diverse biomass. Blazier is looking at growing switchgrass for bioenergy. It has a high energy yield, has high biomass yields with a minimal amount of uh, water and nutrition compared to other crops. Blazier's growing switchgrass understands of southern pine trees, which could give foresters and landowners another source of income. In his study, he is looking at switchgrass under newly planted trees, middle-aged trees that have received their first thinning, and mature trees that have had a second thinning. He also is looking at different numbers of trees within the stands. We did see in the older trees, uh, when we thin them back to about 50 trees per acre, uh, that or below, uh, we got really good switchgrass yields. Blazier has been studying switchgrass with pine trees for five years. He says there is a lot of interest in the grass from landowners and the biofuels industry. Blazier says the grass burns as hot as low-grade coal and could be used for electricity generation. There's actually been interest in, in co-firing switchgrass with coal because it, it burns fairly cleanly. It actually reduces uh, uh, emissions uh, when co-fired with, with coal there. To make growing switchgrass economically feasible, a grower would have to yield more than four tons per acre. In this study, Blazier is not fertilizing the grass and is getting lower yields. We're at about two and a half tons per acre in this study, but I, I do have other studies where it's similar to this where we've fertilized and got up as high to four to six tons per acre. Switchgrass is native to North America and is part of the Cajun Prairie ecosystem. With the LSU Wax Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.